Greetings, back again here with an update to my previous video and some additional information. And uh, I'll put a link to that video in the description if you want to watch it. But uh, in it, I showed you how to make an AV cable for the PC Engine. And I also mentioned that I thought you could use it with the TurboGrafx 16. Now, I think it was EDT1138 that uh, pointed out that uh, the TurboGrafx only had RF out. And uh, the same goes with the uh, original PC Engine, uh, the white one, that too also has uh, RF only. So you can't use the cable that I made with those two systems. Uh, you can use it with the, the duos, both the TurboGrafx duo system and the PC Engine duo system. Um, you can use it with the Core Graphics, like I have in front of me here, and the Core Graphics 2, I think the LT, and all those other uh, models of the system, but uh, not with the original Turbo Graphics and not with the uh, original PC Engine. Uh, I don't know about the European Turbo Graphics uh, if that has the AV output or not but uh, yeah the American one doesn't have it and uh, um, Ed also mentioned uh, tapping into the uh, expansion port on the back of the system and getting uh, AV out from there and I looked it up and you can actually do that so if we take a look at the the core graphics that I have here. Now this one does have the AB port on the side there, but uh, if you look at the back, we have the expansion port here, and uh, this should look the same on uh, the turbo uh, graphics. And what you have here, uh, I don't think this shows up very well on the camera, but uh, you have three rows of uh, 69 pins and uh, the top left and the bottom left pin are your uh, right and left uh, audio out and uh, the second pin on the top is uh, ground and then over on the right side the top middle and left pin are red, green and blue so you can uh, get uh, RGB out of this and uh, the next to last pin on the bottom is uh, composite video and uh, to the left of that is another ground pin and uh, there are a few more ground pins uh, don't know exactly the pin numbers and there are a lot of other interesting things that you can find if you look up a uh, uh, the pinouts for for this uh, port here but uh, yeah you could uh, hook up uh, wires to these pins and get uh, AV out uh, that way alright so another thing that I wanted to show in this video is another cable that I made and again it's for the PC Engine and it's using the same 5 pin DIN connector uh, but instead of the 3 RCA connectors it has a SCART connector now this is still just a composite video uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's nice to have this in case uh, you have a TV that uh, doesn't have the uh, RCA connectors on it uh, maybe it only has a SCART, so you can use this. And uh, what I did here is I took an old uh, SCART cable and I cut off one of the connectors and I wired up this instead. <coughs> now in the previous video I uh, uh, I talked about the the pins on this and basically you had uh, counting from pin 1 which is, uh, if you're looking at it from this direction, it's the, 
the pin on the right here uh, you had uh, uh, video then uh, right audio I think Let's check here yeah right audio uh, then you had ground plus 5 volts and uh, left audio and I wired those up to uh, these pins on this cart <coughs> and uh, the pins that are used here is uh, pin number two now the bottom row here are pins one three five and so on and the top ones here are pins two four six and so on so pin two is the right audio pin six <coughs> is uh, left audio uh, pin four is uh, ground and then pin eight uh, is where I hooked up the 5 volts and in the comments on the last video some people were asking uh, what the 5 volts uh, was used for and in this case uh, sending 5 volts on the 8th uh, pin here uh, tells the TV to switch to the correct uh, channel uh, there is a slight problem with that and uh, that is that uh, sending only 5 volts uh, will switch it. If you have a more modern TV that supports widescreen, uh, it will switch to widescreen. And uh, the PC Engine doesn't use widescreen. So, what you really need to do to get it to switch to the correct aspect ratio would be to send uh, 12 volts. But since we don't have 12 volts, uh, I hooked up the 5 volts and uh, you can play it in widescreen, uh, the image gets a bit stretched uh, or you could just uh, uh, switch it over to to the correct uh, spec ratio uh, but yeah that's pin 8 uh, then we have the pin 20 and uh, that is the composite video and then pin 18 is uh, ground for the video and then you also hook up uh, pin 21 which is the shielding so what I did is uh, when I cut the uh, connector off on this end here I saved a bit of the uh, wires coming out of it and uh, I took uh, the wires coming from uh, the pins I mentioned here and uh, the ground pins, the pin uh, 4, 18 and 21 I hope, sorry about that uh, the battery in my camera just died uh, but uh, yeah, as I was saying um, I took the uh, the ground wires uh, or three of them and I hooked them all up to pin 3 on the connector here and then I hooked up uh, the rest of the wires to their respective pins and uh, all the wires that I didn't need I just cut those uh, I had a bit of a problem here um, and I'll show you here these are the wires that I cut and as you can see here they are, they are just using two different colors white and green so to find out which uh, wire came from which pin here I had to go over all of these with my multimeter and uh, test them so that took a bit of time but I figured it out and I got everything hooked up here so let's uh, plug this into the PC Engine and uh, let's uh, test it alright so here I have uh, the PC Engine U and it's uh, hooked up with uh, the new SCART cable to my uh, Sony TV here so we'll fire this up here and as you can see it uh, switches over to the correct uh, channel but it uh, goes to uh, widescreen mode which is okay you can play this way too but uh, if you want to it can just switch to the correct aspect ratio
but yeah, as you can see here, it, it works great. Um, as I mentioned, it's still just a composite video, uh, but uh, it's nice to be able to have uh, uh, the option of uh, connecting it uh, with the SCART cable as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, everything I had to show this time. So bye for now, and I'll see you soon.